All right, what we have here is the Multiplex Xeno, as you can see here. Got it all pretty much done. I haven't done uh, a Maiden on it yet. I just did uh, a watt meter test on it just to kind of see where it was at. Um, but this is it kind of up close. But I hope to do the, the Maiden this afternoon. Um, got it all built, pretty much the stock setup uh, on the Xeno. Um, the canopy comes white. I, I went ahead and painted it black, just with some normal just uh, spray paint, just aerosol type stuff. This is the tuning power pack that came with it. Um, back here is the power pod, uh, right there, and the, then the canopy. This is the canopy for the power uh, module. Otherwise, you get like a flat, much lower uh, canopy, which is this one here. Um, basically, it's just a uh, a nice flush more flush uh, canopy design. Uh, there's no hood scooper, or I'm sorry, air scoop or anything there. Uh, but it has the same connections here at the bottom to, to snap in uh, to place. Put it in the back first, snap it down. Little releases to, to squeeze and then pop it off. Um, this is pretty basic. It comes with a lot of stickers. I didn't put them on. I just put the, the multiplex uh, back there and then the, the Xeno on the other side. 30 amp speed controller with the tuning power pack, the HiMax uh, 28, 16, 12, 20, and then a, a 9 by 6 folder on the back, which is kind of cool. That, that'll give it some, some glide distance when you cut the power. What I did notice is that the ESC in here is uh, programmed to do um, a hard stop, so it just stops instantly as soon as you let off the power. Uh, kick off the canopy to squeeze and lift out in the back. That's pretty much it there. What I have here is a 3 cell 1300 milliamp battery. This is actually a battery that came with uh, another review kit from Hobby Lobby. I think uh, the F18 uh, EDF jet. But I just have Velcro here on the back just to hold it in uh, on the bottom. Uh, this is just Sharpie coloring here on the plastic just to kind of match. Because I already installed all this and I didn't want to try to paint this. Uh, so I just did a little little bit of tape and then Sharpie right there. Um, motor here. Uh, then this one here did come with the... Uh, it's, it's a hollow uh, metal tube uh, drive shaft that comes all the way down here um, to the prop assembly. As you can kind of see that, it just kind of gets in there. Um, obviously my awesome Asan uh, receiver. Then there's a 30 amp uh, ESC right here. It's multiplex uh, as well. The, mul the multiplex does come with a little, you know, different style adapters. Um, I'm a kind of, I'm a Dean's guy, so. Dean's is where it goes. Uh, these winglets actually do pop off. Just kind of pull up and then slide them off on the, into the back. You wanted to, to pop those off. Let me flip it upside down here. Um, high tech uh, Metal Gear servos, uh, two of those. And then this is just little carbon fiber strands so I can hang it up on a nail in my room. Um, that's pretty much it. But uh, bottom here, you can see this uh, this little area right here. Uh, that's the that's the joining assembly. That's just the here's the little pin. That holds them together, but it's kind of hard to slide, but which is good. But that just joins these two. Each one of these pieces of plastic is uh, it's it's alternating, so you know one side is connected to the other side. Then this this thing here just kind of joins them together, and it kind of gets just tucked away inside there, inside the finger grips. Your CG point, um, I believe, is right here, just right in front of the servo, all the way across, and it. Uh, hitting this piece of plastic, I believe. So it's just kind of somewhere right about there. There's no real issues to have your servos on the bottom um, because they give you these protectors, and these these are deeper or taller than um, than your horns and everything back here. So it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I've seen some guys put them up on top. I think aesthetically that doesn't look so sexy, so I'm not going to do it. But I just use hot glue to kind of. Uh, put on my, on my wires right here and kind of put everything in. 
Uh, this plastic plate, I mean, it's uh, it's there. I don't know if it's just for structural design, so it's more rigid, but it does hinder if I want to put a larger battery in there, unless I want the battery to kind of come up and get really close to the close to the the motor. But see, here's an X Power Two Dog RC, you know, X Power Three Cell Twenty Two Hundred Milliamp, and it's uh, let's see, you butt it up against the front, drop it down. That'll pretty much fit. It's kind of large, uh, but it'll pretty much fit in there. You know, boom. Uh, the way that you break this thing in half, you have to to remove the, this power, this full power assembly, um, is there's a little uh, push button right here. You just kind of push it in, and then the whole it kind of breaks in half. See that? There we are. And what you'll notice is, let me just slide that guy off. See, it uses like these uh, these little rivets here. See that? And then basically these are held in uh, to these little holes, and they're held in just by it being closed naturally. See, and I can lock it back. Now it's locked. Now my power pad is essentially off. Now, of course, you're going to have to unplug uh, your your motor leads as well. You know, uh, so you need to keep track of that. Now there might be a cool little. You can get one of those little cool uh, easy connectors to make it real simple to go from motor to ESC, so you can go back and forth real quick to make this into a, a, a slope only version just on the fly. So, and then essentially, then you just put on this guy here. You know, and uh, just latch it into the back, push it in, then push it down. Then it makes it really, really sleek. Of course, this isn't painted black, so, but, uh, you know, it's cool. A lot of guys have the carbon fiber rod. I guess that was in the original kit, but apparently there was an issue with the carbon fiber rod uh, getting stripped or coming apart, so then it would get really weak, um, which wasn't very good. So. Uh, Multiplex upgraded this to the steel aluminum uh, hollow shaft, which apparently is a lot better and, and uh, seems to work. So let me just put this power pod back in. It's got to line up the holes there. And lock it back in, and she's on there. Now, one thing I was kind of concerned on was, check this out, like if I hold this without the canopy on top, if I hold this like this, see this gap right here? Now, I don't know if this was from my fault of doing the build, maybe I could have done a little bit better, uh, you know, putting all this, these, this plastic glued in and, and everything in there, but what you'll notice is um, that is associated to those little holes uh, for your canopy, you know, on the back side, well, they slide in. You can see them. There's one there, and then there's one back here. But you can see if there's a gap, you can't really slide in uh, to, the, to those uh, holes back here. But if I close it, oops, push it together, now those holes in the back are open and ready, ready to, for the canopy. But if I just let it go, see, see that give. But one thing that works out in the favor is once you put this in and these little rivets here fill in those gaps in the back, well, then this thing's held together. You know, you don't got that weird gap, which is cool. And then it makes the power pod a lot more secure because right now it kind of wobbles. But once you stick it in there uh, into the two holes, it, it makes it, you know, closed and everybody gets happy. You know, so it's all good. I haven't flown this yet. What I wanted to do is just do the maiden today, do the power maiden today, and then probably go up to the mountains uh, in the next couple days and do some slope soaring because we got some beautiful mountains here in Idaho. So I'm going to take it up sloping, uh, check it out, see how it does. Uh, right now, what we're doing um, is on a full charge, it came out to wide open throttle, came out to uh, 20 amps at 200 watts on a fresh charge, a wide open throttle, and all up weight with the battery uh, came up to 820 grams. So 
don't know if that's good or bad, but that's just what the numbers are. Um, so we'll check it out, see how it works, and we'll do some flying.